Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Thursday the 22nd of August. Thanks again for watching. Um, just a reminder that as always the site to get free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen. It's by you coming back and using the site and using the adverts that we're able to keep the site free of charge and continually add charts to it. Now of course Bank Holiday Weekend is upcoming so I'm going to give you a forecast for that in just a moment. But this is the view from uh, both at the moment, just looking eastwards into the Cambrian Mountains. And this really foretells um, the story of the coming days. You can see there the cumulus cloud that's developed over the mountains this afternoon, indicative of the unstable atmosphere that's above. Notice the clear skies that you can see here, look, headed towards the coast. But as soon as we get this little bit of lift from the mountains up go the cumulus and uh, they have been generating some showers this afternoon and that unstable air is going to be spreading across the country during the coming days becoming ever more unstable as colder air moves in from the west and it's that that's going to bring us some heavy showers during the course of the bank holiday weekend. Now into next week, actually things are a little bit more simple. This is um, the 7 to 10 day forecast of the 500 millibar means. Going from next Thursday through to Sunday, the 1st of September. Can you believe it's the 1st of September? Um, and what we have here, look, is above normal heights on both the ECMWF on the left-hand side and the GFS on the right hand side and here is the ridge that's out in the Atlantic on both sets of charts so they're both indicating that high pressure will be building in during next week although look notice the ECMWF putting that trough in look out towards the east it's kind of evidence a little bit there on the GFS but by no means as much as the ECMWF if that one comes true then the ECMWF does hint at uh, the UK seeing some rain or showers during the middle part of next week but I have to say my confidence on that is pretty low just at the moment although the ECMWF because of its resolution does tend to pick up on these small scale systems and uh, has been pretty good over the last uh, few months in picking up on those systems notably the one that's coming through this weekend which is a trough moving through shortwave trough and it's picking up on one of those again next week so that's something that we need to watch for but generally higher pressure is the theme although as I say just concerned that the ECMWF doing something slightly different However, Bank Holiday Weekend is upon us. This was the chart for this afternoon, Thursday. High pressure in control. One or two showers have developed over the hills, and we've seen some cloud and outbreaks of rain affecting southeastern England, hence the delaying play at the Oval. Um, but it's these features out towards the west that we're now watching. Here's the chart for Friday. Look, cold front coming in. Now, all the time running ahead of this cold front is colder air that's coming in at upper levels. The effect of that is to destabilise uh, the air at upper levels, and that means that those cumulus counts can get going. So what we're going to find is some showers moving in during the course of Friday. I think they'll gradually spread into Ireland, Western Scotland during the course of the morning, and then they'll come eastwards during the course of the afternoon with those showers breaking out and becoming heavy, I think, through the evening, particularly in this zone here. Could be some localised torrential thundery damples within that area during Friday afternoon into the evening. Now, overnight into Saturday, that process continues, so we get that destabilisation taking place. And really, it's anywhere within this sort of zone that could see some heavy showers overnight, Friday into Saturday, and lasting through Saturday morning. Now, some of those could be thundery in places, so something that you just need to be watching out for is that you could get caught by those. Now, of course, that's not great for those of you who want to go flying. We're going to see low cloud bases and those, um, those uh, uh, clouds containing some embedded cumulonimbus in there. Also, those of you who want to go sailing, not great, particularly in the channel, where we're going to find a northwest wind up to force six and those thundery outbreaks of rain. Now, not, I'm not entirely sure exactly where these are going to be just yet. Um, this is a small scale system that's coming through and putting the detail on it, we're probably not going to know until the middle part of tomorrow really exactly where this heavier stuff is going to be. But I think we do just need to work on Saturday being a more unsettled day. Notice the ridge of high pressure coming through Ireland. That's also just nudging into the west of Scotland. Better conditions there with more sunny spells, although this front bringing some outbreaks of rain into western parts of Ireland later on. On to Sunday, and I've still got a weak front. Look, this is that occlusion we've just seen coming through Ireland. It brings some cloud and some spots of rain to western coasts of Scotland, perhaps northwest England, western coasts of Wales, and southwest England. One or two scattered showers following in behind, but generally it's a better sort of day. Now, this east wind may just blow some low cloud and showers onto eastern coasts. They're not great for those of you who want to go flying, I think, low bases. But elsewhere should be okay for flying on Sunday, although along that frontal zone we will find bases of 2,000 feet. Generally, though, it looks as if uh, it shouldn't be too bad, I think, with sunny spells for many of us developing. 
developing, although parts of Kent, again, could find some outbreaks of rain just from this low that's stuck out there towards the east. Bank holiday Monday looking a better day. High pressure in control. Still got this northeasterly though, bringing some outbreaks of rain across East Anglia and the far southeast. But for most, you can see there, high pressure in control. There'll be some mist and some fog patches in the morning. They'll clear away, and then I think it's going to be a fine day for a bank holiday. Dry conditions, sunny spells for most. Although, as this front moves into northwest Scotland, we may just find some outbreaks of rain moving in there. Tuesday sees the high pressure still in control across the uh, central and southern parts of the country, although these fronts you can see kind of meandering their way around do cause some complications. This one is going to drive some rain into western parts of Ireland and western Scotland. This one brings some scattered showers across central and eastern Scotland, perhaps into the far north of England. I think there could be some cloud around as well, Wales, central parts of England, perhaps one or two showers in the morning, but they'll tend to be fading away, and for most of the day should be okay. Now, as I said, into the middle of next week the problem is what happens to this little low that's out here because the ECMWF wants to sweep that eastwards stick it into the North Sea here and bring in the winds like so around the low which would basically bring cloud and outbreaks of rain to northern and eastern coast best of the sunshine out towards the west through Wednesday but uh, the jury out on that one just at the moment I'm hoping to give you more on that tomorrow so it's a bank holiday weekend, but it could be worse. I mean, it's not looking that bad. It's just that we've got those thundery outbreaks around during the course of Saturday. I'll keep you updated on what's going on, but of course tomorrow's Friday, so that means it's our regular longer range outlook as well. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Keep the sun shining, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.